In this video I'm going to be showing you how to turn on the power and how to access Pack-a-Punch on the MapD machine. To start off with I'm going to be showing you how to turn on the power. If you follow the exact route I do this is the best route to get to the power in particular because you get access to all the main perk machines that you will want to have when you play the game anyway on this route. So starting off in the spawn room area come over to the door that's next to the buildable table and buy that. Then once you've bought that door head into the next room and head over to this staircase over here and remove this barricade. Once you've done that head up the staircase and head to the end of the room where stamina up machines located and blow up the wall opposite that perk machine. After that head through the crash site and past the juggernaut machine and come to this barricade here and blow it up. After that head on down into the tunnel area and wait for these giant doors by this bunker to open up. Once the bunker doors have opened come down the staircase and make an immediate left at the bottom of the stairs and blow up this barricade here. Head through this corridor and through the medical bay where speed coder is located and come over to these doors over here once you've opened up these doors head through the particle accelerator room and come all the way to the very back of the room up here to this observation window area and finally open up the last door here to get into the observation room you will notice there is a big giant terminal with a red button on it interact with this red button and this will turn on the power once you've done this you will notice on your HUD that it will say that there are two little computer terminals you need to interact with inside the particle accelerator room on both the left hand side and right hand side of the room simply walk up to those and interact with them to turn both of those on you'll know if they're turned on as the computers themselves will go from a red color on them to green once those are turned on wait a couple of seconds you will notice a giant anomaly will spawn in the center of the room head over to this anomaly and interact with it once you interact with this anomaly this will put you into the dark ether once you're in the dark ether there are two possible spawns where the part for pack a bunch can spawn. You can tell which area it is as the HUD on the game will tell you the exact tunnel you need to go down in order to pick up the part. The two areas where this can spawn are in the following places. The first area if you come up to the crash site you will notice that the front part of the plane will now be floating up in the air and there will be a purple portal underneath it. You will need 500 points in order to travel through these portal tunnels. Simply walk up to the tunnel itself, interact with it, spend 500 points or essence as it's known as in this game and this will drag you through this tunnel and down into this secret room here. As soon as you spawn in the secret room you will notice that the part will spawn over here and you simply need to interact with it to pick it up. The second possible spawn location if you head over to the pond where quick revive is there is a tank that is now floating in the middle of the air and again underneath it you will notice a purple tunnel there. Once again use 500 points to interact with this tunnel as soon as you spawn in the room underground you will find the pack a punch part here in the corner simply interact with it to pick it up when you've picked up your pack a punch part you will then need to head over to where pack a punch normally spawns this is in the middle of the particle accelerator room which is where you interacted with the dark ether portal earlier on there will be a ghost outline now there with the entire pack a punch design there ready for you to interact with simply walk up to it and interact with it and this will build the pack a punch and spawn it into the map once you've done this this will also spawn you straight back into the normal world and take you out the dark ether. Congratulations, you have now turned on the power and also spawned in the pack a punch in your game. With this pack a punch, you can pack a punch your gun up to three times and you can also add in some different weapon abilities in a separate menu. But otherwise, that's all there is to this guide. I hope you guys found it useful. If you need a guide for anything else with the machine, then I will have a link to the playlist for that down in the description. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next video very soon. Raptor 1 has an excellent orders, Strike